Hey guys, Rob from Expedition Team Overland here at 2023 Overland Expo uh, East. I'm two for two for this year. We have got rain, but this year I am prepared. This time I am prepared. Uh, when I went to Mountain West, you saw I, I really didn't prepare for the rain. I was expecting uh, better weather. Looked at the weather this time, so I got my rain hat, rain gear, and my boots on this time, so I'm not gonna be all uh, all wet and have to run to Eddie Bauer and buy a uh, last minute jacket so but anyway we got a great day today i'm gonna be here all day getting all the uh the best uh the best way i could find out for you guys so let's see what overland expo 2023 is like bang bang boom hey i'm lowell with tread lightly i'm the southeastern program manager and if you're not familiar with tread lightly we're a national nonprofit. Started originally with the U.S. Forest Service, but we're an independent nonprofit helping to protect your public lands and trails so that they remain open for generations to come. Uh, all the funding that comes from individual memberships and our corporate partners that we're so lucky to have, including Ov Overland Expo Foundation, help us fund projects that last year was 113 projects. We fixed 1,500 miles of trails and we hauled 336,000 pounds of trash off of public lands. So we appreciate everyone's some help, everybody's help. We need everybody to pitch in and be part of the solution and uh, help us keep places open for everyone to take their vehicles out and play. All right, where do we find you guys? Well, so find us online at treadlightly.org. I won't be your waiting hand. I won't be your stepping stone. Okay, good morning. My name is Rich Culture with Defiance Tools, so welcome to Overland East 2023. We'll take you through some of the products we have here at Defiance Tools. So we'll start out front here. Um, we've got a flat pack grill, so that actually starts out flat like this and goes together like a puzzle piece, uses standard uh, charcoal briquettes. You know, it's so funny cause and then we also include a carbon fiber uh, mat with it, so that's fire resistant, so you can put that down before you burn anything. We also have our barbecue multi-tool, so this actually opens up into multiple products. So grill fork and a spatula, you can make tongs, and then you've got a knife as well, a bottle opener and a corkscrew. And then one of our, and it all folds back again, it's stainless steel, 440 stainless. And then we also have kind of our newest thing is this folding camp table. So it actually folds up flat like this. And if you come around the back, you can see there's, uh, it's got three shelves yeah, here like for storage. And then it's got a bamboo prep surface on the top. And then we've got some other multi-tools and some tool storage solutions, uh, like a tool roll that you can do different yeah, gear organization in. So and you can find us online at defiancetools.com or at many of the expos uh, throughout the year. All right. Get on my own. Hey, Mike here with Go Fast Campers. We're based in uh, just outside Bozeman, Montana. We make the lightest, strongest truck camper on the market. You can see it right here behind me. 100% uh, American made. Uh, you can come find us over at uh, booth T53 uh, here at Overland Expo East. All right, can we walk through the camper? Yeah, heck yeah. All right, so this is the platform camper. We also make just the topper, which is the lower portion of the camper, and just the RTT, which is the upper portion. You've got your modular floor here. All of these panels move out of the way so you can stand up in here uh, and change if you want. You know, the panel just lifts just like that. The other panel slides down in. You've got a eight foot long queen size bed up here. Um, below it, you've got our, what is our space frame, which is all extruded aluminum, which cuts down the weight. It keeps you away from the oxidation you get with steel products um, and it's, allows us to uh, repair any part of the camper if you damage it somehow. It's all very modular. Then up top here, you got the tent. That's a TPU coated fabric, so completely waterproof. You can actually see how robust it is. It's got all of the beehive pattern here. 
So that's going to be your rip stop there. And then up on the roof, we use a plascor, which is basically the same white material as the floor. And that's a dual composite fiberglass with honeycomb in the middle. It's super strong, has a great UV resistance, but it also cuts down a ton of weight. Um, we build all of these in our factory just outside of Bozeman, Montana in Belgrade, 100% American made. Um, and I love it. It's, it's the best thing out there, man. All right, where do we find you? Uh, here at the show? No, online. Online. Uh, you can go to gofastcampers.com. And if you guys are at Overland East now, we've got a QR code over here. We're giving one away at the end of the year, and you can win it. How to make my way. Hey guys, uh, this is Graham Wales from Outbound Off-Road in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're here at Overland Expo and we've got some fantastic selection of trailers here. So uh, we're going to give you a walkthrough real quick on the Boreas XT. So this is kind of our um, flagship camper. Um, it is a sort of reimagined teardrop camper, you know, a modern day sort of teardrop concept. Um, it's all steel and aluminum composite. There's no wood anywhere in the construction. Uh, so it's got uh, some of the, the beefiest components that you can find for an off-road trailer. They have a, a lifetime warranty on their chassis. They use um, Cruise Master suspension, Cruise Master couplers, um, which have been uh, outback tested in Australia for 15 odd years. So uh, they know how to put something together that's really, really sturdy. Um, we'll go ahead and give a quick walkthrough. So up here in the tongue box, you've got Plenty of storage. Uh, this compartment goes all the way across here, and then you've got uh, battery and electronic storage back here. This particular camper has got a few different bells and whistles above and beyond the standard camper. It's got 200 amp hours of lithium batteries on it. Um, we use all Victron components in the 2024 model. So we switched to that. Um, this one in particular has a rooftop air conditioner, the Pneumatic X2. So that's a really, really nice feature to have. And it comes standard with a 100 watt solar panel. This one's got an additional uh, 100 watts as well on top of there. So um, straight pull square awning is standard for an XT. So um, it comes, uh, it's eight feet by eight feet when it all sets up and it has the option of a room enclosure that goes with it too. So it turns the whole thing basically into a ground tent. It's got, it's got a floor, it's got screen panels that can zip all the way up to make them opaque like a, like a tent basically. But um, it's queen size bed inside. As you can see, uh, heater is standard. So behind those two black vents over there is the Propex forced air furnace. Um, so we've got HDPE cabinetry here. Um, it's controlled for the aircon, which actually has a fan function too, which is really nice. So if you're looking to camp in here and you don't want the air conditioner, but you still want to circulate some air, it does have a fan function, which is really, really nice. And then we got the little overhead cubby with a couple USB charging ports and a couple of reading lights. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So come around here to the back. Okay. Uh, Come around here to the back. We've got the uh, kitchen set up. We've got the uh, Truma 60 liter single zone fridge freezer. Um, we've got all this built in prep space here. We've got um, a couple more USB charging ports down here. The lights are all on dimmers too, which is actually the same as in the cabin, which people seem to really like. Um, same uh, HTP cabinetry. Um, sink right here. The cook. Um, was a cook partner stove. This is something new for the 2024, which um, has been a really, really popular feature. These stoves are 20,000 BTUs. They have a, a massive, almost cult-like following. People who have them absolutely love them. So we've been putting these in the 24s now. And then around here, uh, kind of last big feature would be the shower. So it's an on-demand EcoTemp uh, water heater over there. You know, it's fairly simple but it gets a good amount of water pressure and it gets plenty of hot water great way to take a shower at the end of the day clean yourself off before you crawl into your nice clean warm insulated camper These campers have uh, fiberglass panels uh, it's a fiberglass exterior with a rigid foam core on the inside um, it's an R7 insulation value that's all the way around the camper 30 gallons of water um, I think I, I think I mentioned 100 amp hours lithium standard on the 24s, um, expandable up to 200 hours. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's got a roof rack up there for a rooftop tent if you wanted. Um, 
Yeah, I guess that's that's the basics of it. All right, cool. Where do we find you guys? Uh, you can find us at outboundoffroadusa.com. All right, thank you so much. My pleasure. Hi. So this is um, Thunderbox. It is an Australian-made collapsible camping toilet. Uh, it folds down to be about an inch thick. This is the carrying case that you would transport it around in. <clears throat> Take it out of the bag. It's very simple to set up. There is just a uh, accordion hinge right there. Pop it open. Throw in a waste liner bag. <clears throat> this one already has the bag in there. That's what would collect your waste. There's other aftermarket um, bags that will work. This is a biodegradable bag that is designed to be um, buried if it's legal and ethical to do that where you're camping. So the bag collects the waste. Closing the lid, there's these uh, edges here. Closing the lid will lock the bag in place, just like a garbage can to keep the bag from falling on you. There's one little latch right there that keeps the toilet secure. To do your business, this is the same height and this is the same hole as a standard US toilet. Not the elongated hole, but a standard one and not the gigantic, um, you know, handicap style toilet, but a standard US toilet, 16 inches off the ground, which is what this is. It's rated at 500 pounds. Uh, we stacked bricks on it, ran out of bricks. When you're done using it, close the lid. It's almost airtight, so that will keep the smell out of your camp and it'll keep the bugs, flies, and whatnot from um, getting in there. And again, it's all handmade in Australia with 100% Australian um, steel. This is galvanized steel and this is MDF. Oh, and our uh, website too. So we go to a lot of the Overland Expo shows or our website is thunderboxusa.com. All right, thank you so much. I think I know this will be the day. Hi, I'm Brooke with Cargo Dog. We make a seat delete storage system for the back of the Wrangler and the Gladiator model. We have the Tacoma model coming out the first part of the year. You remove your seats. You have locking storage that's all LED lit. It is completely removable, so you don't have a permanent structure. Underneath here is removable carpet that you have the two factory seat bolts that already exist. You're just gonna set your unit right on top of that. It is considered a plug and play. We have a cord that runs up and goes into your console. So you're all set to go with your electronics. Your middle section is driver accessible. So you can reach in from the front anytime and grab like your wallet, or if you want to charge um, a GoPro or an extra phone, we have a charging station in there. It is a 60-40 design. Um, so you can remove the 40% side and run your small seat if you want. Um, it is easier to install with the 6040 design because you're not trying to haul one whole piece in there. Um, it is Cargo Dog. <laughs> you can find us at uh, Cargo.dog is our website. Um, and we're on Cargo Dog 2021 for Instagram and Cargo Dog for Facebook. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Steven with WeBoost. I'm the customer success manager over there. Um, here's how our WeBoost Drive Reach Overland works. Essentially, you've probably seen the antenna before on some rigs. Pulls in signal for all carriers, AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, even Canadian carriers, Mexican carriers, many countries carriers. Pulls in the signal into the booster in the outside antenna connection. And it boosts it up. This is the brains of the operation. It boosts up the signal for all carriers simultaneously. And it pops out the signal out the inside antenna. You have this close to your phone within five feet, it'll boost it so your phone can make calls again, send texts, load web pages. Um, if you run into an area where maybe you have a bar, maybe you even have almost unusable signal, this will make it usable again so you can send a text, make a work call, things like that. Um, it works on all carriers, like I said. The show special is 25%. This kit with all this comes to 550 with the uh, discount, it gets it down to 412 today. All right, how does it work with um, like a, like a truck camper oh, setup? Antenna. Yeah, will, yeah. Will it radiate through the cab and the antenna? So you'd have to have it closer to the antenna. So um, a lot of people have their phone or a hotspot device on the antenna, and then they can get the hotspot to their other devices. So it can usually broadcast off of that, I don't know, 10, 15 feet from the hotspot. So that's what most people do. This is made for five feet. It's made for in-vehicle use, so your phone would have to be closer to this. Just like any source, you get closer to a tower, you get better signal. The closer you get to this inside antenna, this broadcaster, 
the better your signal is going to be. So you'll want your main device to be close to this. Cool. Where do we find you guys? Yeah, so we're based in St. George, Utah. That's where everything's manufactured. We're a U.S.-based uh, company, but we do sell on our website on weboost.com. You grab a card. And, yeah, it has our website, our support number, our support email. Um, and, yeah, we have great support, U.S.-based as well. Um, we'll support the product up to the two years. We'll even go past two years a little bit. It has a two-year warranty on the product. Um, yeah. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, everybody, my name is Ken Hicks here. I'm here with Scout Campers at Overland Expo East. Um, we're going to go over here. This is one of our 2024 Yoho's here that we have at the show. Um, this is uh, coming out of Overland Campers here in Quebec. Um, they're one of our dealers that we have. Um, they've come down here to support us at the show, um, and they brought down this nice Yoho. So we can go ahead and take a look. So on the outside here, you can see we have one of our main storage compartments. This is going to be your main storage for the outside. Just kind of host more of your, your cabinet space. People put ladders, gears, axes, and stuff in this area. Um, underneath here, it makes it easy because the truck's high. You can actually see our tie-down system. So we have a, a ratchet-style tie-down system. that actually goes into your um, main uh, hooks, loops on your, on your truck beds on all four corners. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> on this Yoho, this is where we have our propane. Propane compartment is just located here in the back. Um, you have your propane lines. There'll be a quick line, a quick connect line. That's also a line that runs into your propane on the inside. Um, that runs your cooktops. And then back here, one second, get this out of the way. And then back here, you'll see our diesel heater. So this is our diesel heater option that's offered from Scout. Jump on the other side. 2.75 gallon tank with our auto turn system. Um, this has been our, our heating source uh, that we've switched to here over the last year. Um, we used to run propane heater, but we decided to go over the diesel heater. It puts off a lot more heat um, and a lot faster as well in colder temperatures. If you wanted to come on up in, I could go ahead and take a quick little look with you. Diesel heater actually has a controlled thermostat so you can go in and set how you need it. Um, it allows you to be able to <coughs> heat it while you want it fast. A lot of skiers like to do it. It's a quick heat up. Um, these are our windows. So you've got our Style, European style windows, Eurovision windows with our locks. They also lock out, so give you that extra motion, along with the screen and sunshade. Give you both options. You can also have them both up at the same time and just choose where you want it. Get some airflow in, nice and easy. Scout hanging bags, another option with Scout. Um, a lot of like people like to use these as their um, kind of cabinetry um, for all their clothes and stuff. Got our Scout bed with our bunk windows, which also all have the screen and shutter state as well. Um, this is our sun hatch um, on the Yoho. Has the shutters as well on either side. Gives you both options so you can have vented flow as well. Um, kind of how it goes in here, we got our power station on this side. So this is our Gold Zero um, 1500 power station. Um, these come standard in all of our Scout products. Um, same with our hanging racks. Um, yeah, our cooktops here on this side. It's also an option here with Scout. We go through Dometic. That's another option you can choose as well as the fridge and freezer top. Nice little sink, and we can't forget the bottle opener. <laughs> All right. Lifesaver Jerry Cans, your water source. Makes it easy for you to get it in and out of the camper. You can use it out or in. That's the nice thing with these as well. These can all be brought outside to use outside, or can be brought inside when you need to have in for travel. All right, cool. Where do we find you guys? Uh, we are located in Yakima, Washington. Um, we also have dealers all across Canada and across the, uh, all of the state. The clock is ticking. Hi, my name is Peter. I'm with Luno. Here today, we are building air mattresses for the back of Subarus, but also a range of other vehicle types. We have our mattress for the Crosstrek. It's a double inflated chamber, so it can be a double wide, or if you deflate one side and fold it underneath, you can go solo. This is our fitted sheet that comes with it. We have a comfortable pillow in the back, which is made of memory foam, and it packs down, and the privacy curtain is right behind it. And what's unique about over here is part of our system is we have base extenders. These base extenders extend the platform about 6 to 12 inches, depending on the vehicle. And this gives you the head support so your head doesn't fall into that. So that comes into a package and fits into something like we have here. So it packs down pretty small, weighs about 16 pounds, can stay with you in your trunk. If you swing around to the side, we have a shoe bag. So this is magnetic, has microfiber on the back, so it's scratch resistant. 
What we ask is if there are any minerals that come on, just go ahead and give it a wipe before putting it on your vehicle. That magnetizes, it's weatherproof and tape seams from the top down. A steady bar to keep your shoes and boots inside, and then it drains and ventilates on the bottom. <laughs> Last component is our window screens. So this gives you a tent-like experience. You go ahead and roll down your windows. It has privacy, insect protection, and gives you a nice cross breeze across the way. So we are again Luno. You can find us on our website, lunolife.com. And we have a Expo East discount code right now. It's Expo East, and you get 50% off at the moment. Thank you for showing. Thank you very much. Time's running out. Hey, my name is Jeremy Bolden with Ushi Outdoors. I am the production manager and assistant sales, sales manager. We are Ushi Outdoors. We are from Dallas, North Carolina. We build a camping cargo trailer. It's a little bit of everything that you need in one. We are designed basically for the uh, rooftop tent enthusiast or ground tent camping enthusiast. And we have different options all the way from ranging from a camping setup to a a uh, tool trailer set up to even a tailgate set up. We are as customizable as you want us to be to a certain extent. We can do a little, little bit of everything. So starting out with some of the features, each unit comes stocked with a standard kitchen made out of three quarter uh, marine grade plywood. Has a two burner Dometic stove top. It comes with a 20 pound um, propane cover on the front end of the trailer. Comes with a uh, Divider drawer for all of your pots, pans, utensils, and everything of that nature. Also stock is a folding table drawer for six people. LED at, inside the lid, we have LED lighting on both inside, on both left and right sides with a voltmeter to so you can know the percentage of your battery. We also have USB and 12 volt plug-ins. We also have a cell phone holder. Just a little bit of everything we can add to help. We have normal, pull out drawers just for whatever you would like to put in there on the right side of the trailer we have a side accessory that we make it comes we either have a table accessory we can do or we have a sink accessory and we're working on more options every day on this side we also have a cooler drawer pull out it fits the 35 quart uh domestic refrigerator or it fits a 45 quart yeti or anything 45 quart we have 12 volt plug-ins inside Inside to plug up, we also come stock with a 35 amp hour AGM battery. We have a complete wire, wire set up with a disconnect and a uh, fuse panel. We have storage bins for all your one pound tanks. It can also be switched over to a 20 pound tank. We are bike rack friendly. You can mount potentially almost any bike rack that you would like currently. Um, we have options for fishing rod holders as well. We have, a ten, I have an uh, option for an awning that we just can't set up due to the restraints of the uh, expo, but that is an option. We have a tremendous amount of storage. Online, we actually have a video where we did Tetris Challenge and we fit an insanely large amount of items inside it. On the, this door, we have a uh, accessory attachment where you can attach whatever you'd like to it. It'll Velcro to it. An option of ours is a Dometic faucet with a Dometic uh, hydration tank that fits on the side. And we also have an upgraded tire option. You can go up to a beefier tire or we can almost, we actually go up to a different suspension as well. Right now it starts out with a 1500 pound torsion axle and comes stock with 14 inch rims and tires. Um, some of the other options we have or right here we have a this is what I'd like to call our handyman trailer it is built just for the handyman or a construction company a two-man crew can go do their work and not have to haul around a big giant trailer this is something that they can do with ease and it only weighs 640 pounds so you can pull it with almost anything Sweet. All right. All right, where do we find you guys? You can find us online at ushioutdoors.com or on Instagram at ushioutdoors. Hello, I'm Ward from Tailgater Tire Table, and I'm here to show you how the tire table works and goes on. We have, we have two sizes, a standard size and an 
a larger size. The larger size is four inches wider and four inches longer. And we offer both in steel and aluminum. Setup is you pop these legs into their receivers. And this is your rear support and your width. Get that around the back of the tire, you snug it up, jam up the jam bolts and you have a table. You don't have to use the leg, it'll cantilever, but the leg makes it extra solid and you can put that out. And what I do with the leg is I go either to the rim or to the ground and the tire and then it doesn't become a kick point. And that's the whole works, folds up nice and flat. How much do they weigh? Aluminum is just over five pounds. The steel in the standard is um, close to 14 pounds. Cool. <coughs> Where do we find you guys? You can go online, tailgatertiretable.com. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can get it Amazon also. Cool. All right. Are you ready? How do you like me? Nothing's gonna stop me until I break through. Hi, I'm Don Meredith. I'm the VP of product for Princeton Tech. I'd like to uh, welcome you to the booth and show you a few products. Uh, Princeton is... Uh, you can hang it up the dome light. You can make it the Princeton light. Tech has been in business for almost 50 years. We started in 1975 with dive lights. Uh, we currently make lights for the outdoor space, the military space, and also industrial. Uh, lots of innovative products all made in the USA. So for example, the snap headlamp is a magnetic base headlamp. You just pull it out. It's got a steel base in the uh, mount, but a magnet here so it can stick to anything steel. So you can imagine sticking to your rig or your rack. It also comes with a kit that has a carabiner mount and also a bike mount so you can mount it on your bike or you can also mount it on the rack of your, uh, your rig as well. Super handy if you're doing maintenance, if you're doing camp chores, that sort of thing. It has red light and also white 450 lumens, which is dimmable, so you can dim it down to suit the task you need and also get the battery life that you want. 450 lumens in white and about 10 lumens in red, so fantastic light. It's great for a camper though, because you could feel like you're going down the road. We also make products like the Helix, so this is a camp lantern. It's a really innovative product with swipe to on, so 300 lumens in white. You can touch and hold to dim it down. At its lowest settings, you can get up to 100 hours. So full brightness in white, it's about six hours of runtime. Uh, when you're all the way down, you can get up to 100. If you swipe in the other direction, you get red light. Super compact and packable. Also very versatile. So you have the legs that fold out that you can stand the light on or stand it on its base. All of the legs have hooks, so you could hook it. Paracord has a bale on top to hang it. If you want to run it as a dome light, the diffuser just pops off and it functions as a dome light, of course, in white or red mode. Awesome. Where do we find you guys? Uh, so you can find us at princetontech.com. We're also in a lot of major online uh, retailers like Bass Pro Cabela's, L.L. Bean. Um, but uh, yeah, we are here at the show today so we can have up to 25% off if you're here at the uh, at the booth. Otherwise, see us at princetontech.com. All right, thanks so much. Hey, Olaf here from Zargus USA, uh, located in Charlotte, North Carolina. We've got some of our cases here. Um, this is showing uh, the additional volume that we have in our case versus our competitors. So we've had 600 ping pong balls in this case, 600 ping pong balls in that case. As you can see, we've got a lot of extra volume there. Um, this is a military case. This is our K470 product line. Um, the K470 is a military case that's been used all over the world for the last 40 years. We've introduced this case into this market, the Overland market, because Overlanders are looking for quality, durability, uh, a lightweight case. Our case is about half the weight of most plastic cases, so it's a, a much better option for Overlanders in general. And uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more than your standard case, but you will keep this case for 20, 30 years. Cool. Is that good? That's good. Where do we find you? At the website? Uh, we are at uh, ZargusUSA.com. All right. Thank you so much.